Hello and welcome to another Artist Shop tutorial. Here we're going to show you how to make a product in your Artist Shop. This is my Artist Shop. I've already set it up, but to get you started, we're start at the beginning. So to make sure that you've logged in to your Artist Shop on the Threadless.com main page, you can see here my shop support. That'll be where your uh, username is. I'm going to hit my dashboard because I'm already logged in. Um, the dashboard is sort of the home base for all your artist shop needs. You get a little welcome there. You can see your earnings overview. I haven't earned anything yet. Um, you can see various things to help set up your artist shop. And they'll get a green check mark once you've done it. Um, any news and stuff will kind of be on this page. But to get started, let's create a product. Alrighty, now I've already got my file all ready. So that's all I need to do is drag and drop it. Um, you can also click on the blue text to, you know, have the finder come up and you can find it that way. But see, that was easy. It's already there. Now, white isn't really spacey, so I'm going to do a space color. I think blue is a good color because that's what the sky looks like to me when I'm on the earth. So I'm going to select that. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, title my design. I'm going to call it Space Dog uh, in Space. That makes a lot of sense. Now, I went with the straight up 4200 by 4800 pixel, uh, 300 DPI transparent PNG. Now, that's important for apparel, that it's transparent, so there's no white background, even though I just changed the background to blue. It'll be able to print on all colors. But you can see there's different file sizes for different items, depending on what you want. Um, when you upload the file, it'll use the original file to make all the products, but you can always refine that later. And I'll show you what I mean by that later. So uh, I've uploaded my thing, I've titled it, I'm going to hit apparel, and I'm going to tick blue because that's the color, and black, that's the color of space. Uh, men's clothing here, you can see all the options, I'm just going to do tri ones for now. For women, since uh, females is strong as hell, I'm going to do a muscle tank, uh, click on that, and then again, it'll only be the black and blue colors because that's all I've selected. So I'm going to do hoodies for kitties, kiddos, because they always look super cute in that. Um, home items, we've got art, prints, blankets, shower curtains. I'm just going to do all of it. I want the whole kit and caboodle. For accessories, I'm just going to do bags. There's three different sizes of bags, and those are good. I don't really want zip or beach towels. So I'm going to click on my Generate Products button, and the blue square will start turning, which means it's working. So don't worry about it. Um, you got your uh, little notice here that says the products are being created um, right there in the green. So uh, you know what? I'm not going to change the background. It doesn't really look like space, but let's hold off on that. Um, right here, I'm going to put my product description. This will actually appear on the product page in your artist shop. So, you know, a little something about the design, something about you, something borrowed, something blue. So I'm going to say this dog is out of this work. No, he's out of this world. Or she. Can't really tell from this angle. And then I'm going to create tags, which will help with the SEO for the product, uh, space dog, yeah, cool dog, and then the dog language, which is, of course, is rough. So if any dog search, they can find it. Uh, and again, you'll see these little question marks with circles. They'll help you find out a little more if you have any questions during product creation. So that doesn't really look like space. That looks like water. So I'm going to go ahead and change, well, gray's not really space either. How about, yeah, it's got to be a lighter blue or a darker black. So that will change in just a second. So let me go down and show you the men's style. So I only picked tri-blends. Um, let me add one more color. So you can add colors from here individually, just like you could mass add them at the beginning of the creation. So I like the red tri-blends. I'm going to go with that. And then you can see down here, all the different styles will still be here. They just won't be active in your shop. You can add them at any time from this Manage Products page. Now, if I go to the women's product page, I've only added the muscle tanks, but again, it's going to have the same, well, it won't have the exact same options, but I can do the exact same thing. So the blue square is turning. There you go. So muscle tanks, and again, I can add, uh, let's add the dark, light grays. Yeah, light grays. Um, but again, I can add up the zip-up hoodies, the regular t-shirts, anytime. Uh, all right, that looks good. So I'm going to save all my updates, but I'm not done yet. I won't be live in my shop until I hit this little toggle, and that'll publish the product. So there you go, the background changed to that lighter blue. It's more like a sky blue almost. So I'm going to go ahead and click this gay, and boom, it's published. So you have these share buttons that are um, they're on your shop page, but they're also right here. So I can share on Facebook, share it on Twitter. 
email my friends. There is the URL for the specific product. And then down here, we have our creative resource uh, blog links. So, you know, 14 ways to make your first sale. Those are great. But I'm not going to do those yet. Not just yet. Because I'm going to show you where else they are. So I click on this to view my product. And I can see what the product page looks like live on my site. Because it is live once I've published it. Ta-da! Brand new product page. So space dog in space. And again, you can see the options that I selected earlier. All right here. And then if I filter through this, you can only try blends. Uh, there's the colors I selected, different sizes. Awesome. But you, those share um, icons I was telling you about, they're also right here on this product page. So Facebook, Twitter, uh, Tumblr, Pinterest, email. Okay, I'm not logged into Facebook, but if I was, I could share it right there from my page. So let me go back to this uh, page. So manage products is... So if I get out of my product, I can see it's, it'll be the last one entered. will be the first one shown. So from this heads up, I can see all the different products I've already created. Um, mine's blue, so it looks a little different. Uh, I can see it's published. I can see how many styles. And those are those share buttons again. So if you didn't share it on the first time, you didn't share it on the second time, you can share it right there. So from this edit design, I'm going to go back in. And again, I can change anything I want to. But I was talking about files earlier. So we have the file for my apparel. But what I want to do is I'm going to upload the recommended style for, let's say, wall art. So I can change any single file from this thing right here, but it'll only change that file. So if I change the wall art file, it'll only update the image on those specific products. So let me get a new wall image here. So I got a little square one already made up. I can just drag and drop it just like I did at the beginning. Now, I, I'm using this darker color background with the guy and the dog in space to show how it only will update that one. So, okay, let me just update the image. Uh, yeah, see how dark it's... Oh, I pushed the wrong button. Okay, let me just get out of this. Those are all the things I've downloaded. Okay. Um... So wall art, okay, let me just make sure I save it. Boom, got that green bar, it is saving. So once it's done, it'll, all right, get out of there. So let me show you what I mean. This has only updated the wall art. So if I go down to my home section, you know, I've got the various things, the duvet cover, uh, shower curtain, I can see the framed unframed and stretched canvas have all been updated, but like the blankets have not. So, you know, that's pretty awesome. And then if I wanted to update the blankets or something else, I can do that from here, like the rugs. But again, it'll show you the recommended sizes. Um, if I click on the learn more, it'll take me to the FAQ and I'll see all the product sizes. But inside that uploader, it'll show you the sizes as well. So then let me refresh um, so I can see the new images I just uploaded. And let me get out of these men's tees. Let me go down to home. Get into some wall art, framed art prints. All right, look at that frame. So there you go. Brand new image. Guy with space dog in space. Guy, space guy in space with space dog in space. Uh, again, I can share from that page as well. So once I've done that, I've created my products. I'm going to go to this manage collections page. You saw at the beginning that was my home page. We can see all the products I've already created. But now that I've created this cool new product, I want to advertise that as well on that page. So the homepage is standard. Every artist shop will have one already. Um, you can edit the details here. And what I'm going to do is I'm, you can see all the products I've already added. You can highlight all your visible designs, click on the one you want, and it, I can either show just the design or I'm going to go ahead and show it on a specific product. Men's tribal and shirt. Yeah, it looks good. I'm going to change the color. Make it pop. Red, mm, black, that looks a little too dark. You know what? I'm going to stick with the blue. So I've added that to my collection, and I can always drag and drop it in the order. If I wanted to go third, um, the first thing would be, or I want it to be the first thing you've seen, I can do that, and then we can view that. And it'll take me again to my artist shop page. Boom, there's the product I just created, and now it's on my home page, Space Dog in Space. And that's it. You made a artist shop product and you added it to your homepage collection.
Great job, and I'll see you next time. Bye.